Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to some more DayZ. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's play. God. Means nobody's been in here. Or well, if this door will be open. Okay. Coast is clear for now. I see sometimes players that come in, come in through that back that back that back area over there. Come come through here. When I encountered that dude that one season, I heard his footsteps. And he he had came. He was he, but he was on the other side. And I rushed him. I shot and missed, and got destroyed. All right, let's gather this zucchini. Boop boop. Uh, got this pumpkin. Don't just survive, thrive, ladies and gentlemen. I always say, I'm gonna keep saying it. I know I sound like a broken record at this point. We're already, always getting new viewers. Lurky lose, new subbies. Welcome to the channel. My name is Raven from the Sky. <laughs> I post a variety of games, not just one. Although I do have channel favorites, you know, series mainstays like uh, APB um, and. Uh, and Daisy, which you are currently watching. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Daisy, I kind of, I guess, give tips and tricks as I go based off my own experiences and play style. And, um, it's by no means is the end all be all because in actuality, we got ourselves some pumpkin breakfast here. In actuality, you can play how you want to play. That's the beauty of this game. If you're new to it, if you're just wondering, hey, what are you playing? How does it how do you play this? How does it play? I pretty much explain that every single episode because you're always getting new. I'm always getting new eyes. And if they don't catch the last episode, then they'll catch what I said before or previous episodes. They'll catch it that episode. If that makes, any <laughs> that makes any sense. Oh, man. Um, I've ah, got so many pumpkin seeds. Let me switch. Oh, and look at that. Let me plant some. It's going to rain. Grab these pumpkin slices. Let's skedaddle. All right. We got the heat buff. Oh, we only got two vitamins left. Down our daily vitamins. Fun fact. If you down vitamins, you can eat raw meat. And you can eat with meat with like food with like bloody hands because the the, the boost from the vitamins that protect you. The um, nutritional boost for your immune system. Fun fact. Food for thought if you didn't know that. Uh, let's see. We'll have that and we'll have a pepper. Because we've got a long ways to go. Got a lot of traveling. And I like to travel at full speed for the most part. Stop, catch my breath, sprint. Stop, catch my breath, sprint. Now, like I said, it's based, this, is, this is my own play style. All right. Daisy Pro will tell you not to do that. Huh? Are you a Daisy Pro? Yeah could say that i've been playing i put so many hours into it so yeah i just have my own play style i don't play like traditional daisy player 
It may seem that way, but I don't. The traditional daisy player plays like a tank. I don't. As you see, I don't keep a backpack. I can't even repair my... Let me go in here real quick and repair these shoes. I've got a long way to go. And they're looking kind of janky. Okay. A traditional daisy player plays more tankish to me. Um, I used to play that way. There's nothing wrong, not necessarily wrong with it. I just got very bored with it, um, and I wanted to change it up, you know, because it was getting kind of boring and mundane, and um, I was ready to, like, quit the series. Not entirely, but it's just, I'm tired of playing this, you know, trying, at this point, I'm just going through the steps and just rattling off, and I don't really want to do that. You want content to be good quality content. And you want to enjoy and have fun with what you're playing. And you want that to come across to your subscribers. You don't want your subscribers like looking at something you don't enjoy playing. And they can, they can tell you're not enjoying it. And you're just putting it out there just to put it out there. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I don't want to play something. I'm not going to play it. If I feel like playing it, I'll play it. All right. That's how I run the show. That's how I, you know, operate. And I don't just follow the trend. So be that as it that as it may, I don't just follow the trend. If you can tell, yes, there may be a game that is the trend, but I'm not just following the trend. I actually want to play the game. I actually enjoy it. You know, something like that. What the heck? <laughs> she got like a witch hat on. You see that? I'm not going over there. It might be amplified. Got like infinite life or some god mode or something on. But with that said. That's that. Now, like I was saying, um, I don't play the traditional Daisy player. They play kind of tankish. I did play that way uh, in the early, my early, um, my early hours of Daisy. My early experiences with the game. I did play that way. I just, you know, same. I saw everybody else play it the way I followed the tradition, right? And, um, okay. Code that. Fast forward. Okay, I got bored mundane going through the steps okay so i saw a youtuber i think his name is bawad 99 i don't know if he changed his name and at the time this recording this is his name all right you just check him out he's uh he gives awesome tips and tricks and he uh live streams daisy and, and, and plays on like modded modded servers or, or you know things like that with different maps um he uh, did a challenge like a no backpack challenge and I thought it was crazy at first. And I'm like, what? How? Uh, how are you gonna? It's like, how the hell are you gonna play DayZ with no backpack? I'm doing it now. Okay. Granted, I have like, I have the uh, leather bag. I think these are cool. I like the side pack. I like the hip pack. And it, I just used to carry more food. So uh, to me, I still have, you know, more than half my stamina. It's to me, it's still a lightweight build. I may not be full stamina, but I'm more than half. And I'm not weighed down. At least not to me. Anyway, I'm jumping all over the place. I said, how the hell or can you do this? I kept watching the video. And, I mean, it worked. I mean, long story short, there's no other way to really put it other than he ran around. You know, he was sneaking up. He just carried a, all he had was a knife, a pistol. And, the, okay, one, one time he had a, a, what's that, the burlap sack. He was like, you you can carry that. That's not like breaking the challenge. That's why I got this, you know, the side bag here. To me, that's not breaking the challenge. You got a little bag. You're not carrying a big old backpack with like 90 slots, 60 slots. And you got like three different weapons in there. You got a plate, a, a plate carrier on and still trying to say you're lightweight. No. To me, that's, that's breaking the challenge. But this, I'm still able to move. I'm still able to sprint longer than the average DayZ player. But anyway. He had a burlap sack, and then some. Uh, the early part of the spawn, obviously, how he, he he didn't have anything, and just uh, sometimes he didn't have shoes. He would use the rag. Uh, you you know, you can make shoes out of the rags. And so, and you're quieter that way, and then you come upon a player, you take the shoes off. I've, I've noticed people do that. I don't do it, but I get because you you make no noise, uh, less noise. But anyway, and I was absolutely fascinated with it. Just of course, when I. Nine minutes in of recording this episode, we're in a bad rainstorm, thunderstorm. We're drenched, but we shouldn't get sick because, uh, you know, my immune system is A1. Yeah, I, I fell in love with it. I 
Alright, so let me try this. It was difficult at first because you're so used to playing as a tank. It's like, man, you, you want to carry everything. <laughs> you do. <clears throat> but he made sense in the video and saying, well, it's no use in carrying five weapons when you're only really going to use one. <clears throat> the other one is for secondary. You know, blah, 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 you get into a firefight, you out. It's quicker to switch to your secondary than to reload. <clears throat> I have other magazines already full, ready to be reloaded, but it's quicker to switch to your to your sidearm than it is to reload, even on, you know, you know other shooting games, Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite, etc., etc. And that's that, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I get used to it. I get used to that. But all you really need is like, you don't really need that much stuff to survive. You don't. I mean, and he, well, I, he, and he, he says, I eat my food as I go. So he'll eat, forage from the, forage from the trees, eat, eat, eat fill up, uh, I guess fish. He's, I, 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 I'm still convinced I'm the only <laughs> player who, who, who plays like a vegan playthrough with, with DayZ. I couldn't do that with, um, Dragon's Dogma. I tried to at first, but that, yeah, that was cap. You can't. The way Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma work, and I I know this is Day Z, but it's just if you watch that, it's like, well, how are you gonna do a vegan place? You couldn't do. You can't. Uh, their food only provides health benefit. It's really no, at least through my experience, it's really no buffs or, well, it's it's some buffs, but you know what I mean. It's no to the point where it's satiation, where you have to manage your hunger and thirst. Let me put it that way. Let me sum it up in layman terms. Layman's terms. Long story short, you short, not shirt. You don't have to manage your hunger and thirst in that game. So it's like, well, it defeats the purpose. You, and then when you cook at the camp, it forces you to cook the meat. You can't cook any the other fruits and vegetables, at least not from my experience, unless they've dropped the patch. Since then, you know, through my experience, you can't. So. I, you know, I abandoned it, and my character's an omnivore in that game, but on here, we're vegan. Now, there have been some times where you had to consume questionable stuff, like an unknown food can, and to keep from dying, they had to consume some, some, what was it, liver, what was that, liver paste, or what's that, that hummus, whatever that, that stuff is. And I said, screw it, I failed the challenge, but I'm not going to sit up here and my character's going to die when food is right here in front of me for me to keep surviving, to be able to to forage the fruit and to be able to find the seeds and then grow the fruits and uh, uh, vegetables. That would just be stupid. I mean, okay, so I said, okay, well, we'll just go vegan later. Simple as that. And I said, everyone else, don't don't beat yourself up about it. If you, unless you're just that hardcore that I said, screw it, I'll just start over. Fine. But to me, what for? Me, man, it's like the food right in front of you. You can just go vegan afterwards. You, you're not going to fail the challenge completely and just not be vegan the whole playthrough. It's like, no, you, you, you just need enough to get you to the next town that hasn't been picked clean or the next city that hasn't been picked clean. Find the greenhouse, find some seeds, find a pickaxe that's on my back here and plant. This right here would be the perfect time to plant a garden. Look at this downpour. Your whole soil will be rich. Be rich and will be fed and in about an hour your fruits your, your vegetables will be finished now there's different times uh beans and there's another you by the name of beans she uh broke it down to the to what how long it takes certain uh veggies to grow i can't remember that i can't remember by heart i just know so what i do the rule of thumb is wait at least about at least 45 minutes and majority, depending on what you have planted, will be finished. The tomatoes, zucchini, um, I think potatoes take longer. I can't, she said, she, she said what takes the longest, but I f forgot. Um, I can't remember if it's the potatoes or the pumpkin. 
But I, what I do is I wait a, wait a whole hour. Usually by the time I plant something, I, I, I'm hunkering down and I'm, I'm getting off the game for about an hour. Go eat or whatever. Come back in like an hour. Hop back on the game. Start recording a new episode like I did with this one. And as you can I saw in the beginning, the garden was finished. Well, what I had planned, I didn't, I didn't tilt the garden, but you saw the pumpkin and zucchini was finished. And the garden was already rich with water. When you see it in dark spots like that, it'll look a peculiar way. When you see those spots like that, it means, that, sorry, which water, which means it rained there earlier. So, and I had planted that garden a while, ago, a while ago. The first time I went to that town going up to the northeast airfield. I said, kind of look around here to see this area. It's also, can be unsafe. Like the one episode, that dude, I was, I was going to get some water. Dude was about, he was about to that house over there, and he was leaning out the door, and he shot at me and missed. That was his mistake. And I rushed him, took the shotgun out, took him out. So you got to be careful. People will use the water fountains as a as a uh, as a setup, a way for you to sit down, because you have to get water. You have to, or you will die. You have to get water. You have to get food. And and, and players are clever to wait at common areas, food spots or water spots, like you won't even see him, you know, you may be expecting him to get you from here. He could be in here with a rifle like this. See that? See how clear I can see you if you were sipping water and your head would be about right there. It's over. You'll see your screen. You'll drop dead. Not know why. Well, you'll hear the shots if they're not silenced, but if they're silenced, You'll just drop dead and your screen will go back. You'll get that message. You have died. And not, what, what the heck happened? I know what happened. I just told you what happened. I know what happened because it's happened to me. <laughs> the last encounter I survived, but the encounter before that, I did not. There was a, there was, I've had a, a encounter at a water fountain where it took me completely out and I did not survive. That last encounter. Yeah. He was brought at the house right there. And we, we got into a firefight and spilled out. He ran back and started jogging like this. Boom, I took him right out. It shouldn't have been that long with a shotgun. It shouldn't have took that long. You know, I've had it to where I've run up on the guy was up in the police station. Most of you know this if you're a long time viewer of the channel, but for our newbies here, they didn't know about that firefight. Most people catching new videos get hooked and they'll go from that on up. Now, some people, I, I know, I've noticed, they say, well, I've watched your other videos. I can't wait for, or, you know, when the season ends, or I can't wait for the next season. Let me go back and watch the videos of them. Stuff like that, I know. But they'll watch the newest ones. They'll see one and then go on up versus going on back. So, I was in the police station, and I heard a bunch of fumbling around. And I, at first, I was trying to distinguish, is that a zombie? Because, you know, you'll hear them roam, roaming around outside as well. A zombie or a person. Then um, um, I didn't move. I didn't move. Just trying to distinguish the sounds. And then I heard him eat, eating. So that's a person. And I, then I tried to figure out, okay, well, where is he? That way you don't get surprised. Again, the element of surprise is often the most dangerous tactic there is in any type of strategy. Now. You can use it to your advantage, or it could be your worst enemy. So, so I don't get surprised. I want to know where he was. I figure out he was on the roof. Okay. And then it's either he's, because there's an inside part. Is he either in the inside by the staircase, or is he on the roof? All the way on the roof. He was in the staircase. So I, I tried to rush him because I had um, a shotgun. Right thing to do, because I have a shotgun. Medium to close range. I'm not going to use beam in long range unless you have slugs. Anything? Oh, I heard something. Nothing. Yeah, you don't do medium and long range unless you got those green shell slugs. Those can, you got a bit more range you can play with. I don't know exactly how much, but with buckshot, uh, medium close range. Is the best. All right. Point blank period. And that's why at close range. I'm thinking, how the heck is he still alive? I shot at him. I know I aimed right at him. 
I'm more of a per third person. I know I love Call of Duty and all, but I'm more of a third person on this game. And I said it wasn't, I wasn't like shooting at the ground or panic shooting. I ran up there and boom, he had a scorpion. He had a high fire rate, but I had more stopping power. I shot him again. I don't understand how he lived through that. And he did not have a plate carrier on because I, when I watched it back in editing, I'm like, that's just highway robbery. Sometimes you can get screwed in this game. All right. So he ended up winning. I, what I should have done, this is what I didn't, this is what I did wrong. What I did wrong. I, I uh, woke up because he didn't even pursue. He knocked me out. Didn't kill me. Uh, he didn't pursue. I woke back up and tried to finish the fight. Hop, uh, hobbling up, hobbled upstairs, and he finished me off. That was a mistake. I sh when I, I had an opportunity, when I woke up, I should have went to the room, bandaged up, then went back up there and finished the fight. Or, and or, start carrying grenades again. I used to carry grenades when I first started the game. I could have chucked a grenade out there. Up there, I mean, up there. Flushed him out. He either would have ran out to the roof, or he would have ran down the steps. Right into my, my darn crosshairs. See, it's funny how it hits you after the fact, right? <laughs> now that sounds like a A1 strategy. Right? You basically you're flushing them out. <clears throat> but nope. I tried to go back up there because I was so infuriated. I finished it. Nope. It finished me off. Or end up oh no no no. Yeah, I ended up passing back out and he finished me off. I'm like, dude, it potato didn't even finish me off the first time. I'm even more with potato for not running back into one of the rooms in the police station and, ju and just banging up and finishing the fight. Because you can do that. If far enough away, like if I get beamed and I wake up and I'm able to scurry back in here, I can bandage up, wait, and, pr and try to uh, process and figure out what my next move is going to be. It's the beautiful thing about this game is like, and it's realism. I love it. Now, you may not always be that lucky, okay? Because people use high power rifles. You know, people know where the spawn. I know where the spawns are. You've been playing for hours like I have. You learn the spawns for the most part. And you know where the best loot is, which is at the military bases. Now, I don't know where every single one may be, but I know where the best one is. The airfield. Everyone goes there. That's the, that's the central point of everyone's loot run. Everyone that's, is going to make a stop there. All right. Everybody. That's what makes that place so dangerous. The most dangerous point of the map, believe it or not. Some pretty big cities. Some pretty awkward cities. Up high, down low, near the coast. Inland. But no, nothing is more dangerous than the, the airfield. The central airfield. The center of the map. Nothing. This is the spark plug. And it needs fuel. And it needs tires. It's a gun tire. It's fuel and tire. The fuel is, 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 darn it, it's, um, it's some of that train back there. Shucks. I, I'm so busy running around. I forgot about this car here. It needs tires, and it needs fuel. And I can try. I can try scouring for another jerry can here in the industrial area because you may find one. But I'll have to find a gunter and find tires and bring it here. Find tires. Sometimes you get a spark plug or an engine here. Find tires, bring it here. And then go back and find that fuel. Go back and get that, that jerry can. Fill this up. Put water in the radiator and we'll be done. Oh man, I might have myself a, myself a car. We'll be good. That was it the last time. And that's another good thing. That we can cover more ground in the vehicle. But keep in mind, it makes a lot of noise. And it sticks out like a sore thumb. thumb. So... Just keep that in mind. I haven't had a car, and I had a car 
I think it's season one or season two, but <laughs> yeah, I ended up losing that. That was a long time ago. I don't think I had a car since. That's that's I said once I said one season I make the effort to really because it's right. It has the most important parts in it. That spark plug on the engine. All it needs is gas, and I think it needs two tires. So if I can find another gun turn, I'll be good to go. But I think this is going to be the last episode of the season. We're kind of neck deep in series right now. <laughs> I'm going to start Fallout 4. Probably, that'll probably be after this. I love the TV show. The success of the TV show is just insane. It has been renewed for season two. Why wouldn't they? I mean, Fallout is such a big, uh, a big franchise. I know we're gonna get more than two seasons. We may get up to at least at least five. I'm predicting at least five. Fallout three, Fallout New Vegas. That was centered around like Fallout New Vegas, because <clears throat> you know the New Republic and all that. Then they tease Death Claws. Man, we but, shoot. And then that, it's like this drip feeding, sprinkling everything. Because we didn't see Death Claws. We didn't see Super Mutants in the first one. I don't know if they teased Super Mutants or not. But I know they at the end they tease the death claws. We didn't see that or the but we saw those things that's been fall on through the sea creatures. And we saw a Yagwai. But we didn't see Mirlurks. We saw that, that other creature, but we didn't see like the Mirlurks that's in Fallout 4. And that's that show was so good, it um <clears throat> it like put put like the breath of life back in like Fallout 4 and 76. You know, hardcore players never really stopped playing 76. I never really stopped playing 76, but it's just, you know, that show was so good. They, they started uh, 5 million people and hopped back on the Fallout games. Then they dropped, and then, uh, okay, we a, a next-gen update, and then they added some new content to Fallout 4, so I'm I, I, I'm going to hop back on. I haven't played it in, in at least, like, eight or nine years. I played the DLCs. I did a walkthrough on it back in 2015, but... Most of you wasn't around then on my channel, so even more of a reason to get back on it. Uh, 357 round. Do like a PS a PS5 walkthrough. I think this has been up rendered now. You know, it's been a. Uh, can get uh, I think 4k 4k 60 I think I, don't know, I gotta play I gotta play with the uh, settings when I when I hop on it at least get 1440p that's what I'm recording in now yeah I think I'm gonna just skip out on I don't really need anything else other than the Vega and the Vega doesn't spawn in there I got I got shotgun shells I got I know after this town, after we leave this town, though, that there might be a convoy, you know, going around that mountainside. Sometimes that convoy is spawning a vague on the ground. Wherever you see those Humvees, you might find a vague on the ground or a down, or you find like a down chopper. That's a good one, too. If you're trying to get like military weapons, down chopper, military bases, obviously. Um, Humvees, which is basically like those type of interactions where something something happened, those those burned out vehicles and things are places like that. But just be weary. Other players know too. I always say that you're not approach a situation or an area like you're assuming you're not the only one there, because more than likely you may not be, especially if you're playing in a fully populated lobby or highly populated lobby. This lobby only has about six people in it but as you see i'm still traveling with my gun out and i'm still like moving with high alert because you never know you you may encounter one of the six people in your lobby i may encounter one of the six people in mine i've done it before as i said so i was playing in this lobby then as i said when the dude oh that's milk i don't want that i thought that was chips the dude was aiming at me at the water fountain and the dude killed me in the police station. That was, you know, this is all on this low-populated server. 
but I <laughs> ran into that low population. I don't I didn't even and I didn't even have my guard down. In that police station. I had my guard down at that water fountain. Oops, shame on me, I know. We all make mistakes. But guess what? <laughs> Used to my advantage because he shot at me and missed. That was his mistake. But I did before he shot, though, I will say this. I kind of checked. You always check. Even, if, you know, if you don't expect nobody to be there, you check. I kind of checked and he, it shocked me. I didn't expect him to be there. And then when he shot, he missed. Put it that way. So I don't know if that's technically still having my guard down, even though I looked, you know. I did check, but still, I didn't expect him to be there. And these are the trees I was talking about that bear fruit. fruit last video where they look like I thought they were fake like for aesthetics trees that are you know fake trees fake plants nothing wrong with that people use it for aesthetic purposes you know without having to with the, the task of taking care of a plant and everything so they buy a fake one simple as that but I thought these were fake plants but they're not they actually bear fruit so when you come into a city and see these don't forget to check these as well because you should see like the pear sitting on top there's nothing to glitch. There's no grass to hide it or anything. So it's easier to see the fruit. What's in here? Fat cap, denim shorts. Nope. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head down the steps and run along that. That's a great way, like if any players are up here, if you want to be hidden. It's a great way to stay hidden. You do this, players and zombies alike, you just run along here. I more likely and that nobody's gonna be over there. Maybe that's a that's a good camping spot or an idea, but I know if I had like a campfire, it would give it away. Especially at night. But more likely nobody goes over there. There's nothing over there. You might catch somebody fishing here. But I've never been like sniped from that other side. Knock on wood. I don't I mean I jinx it. So you can come up here. Right? I always have like a spot that you want to hunker down in, stash spot, whatever you want to call it. All right? This is mine. Let me. Storm is, is, is not getting any better. It's not letting up. So I'm going to try to wait out this storm. Oh, I planted this. Y'all remember that? Still there. Still there. All right? So what we want to do. Boom. Bunch of pumpkins. I'm going to fill this garden up. Boom. Don't just survive, thrive. That's enough to feed you and keep you fed. 13 freaking, boom. Two zucchinis down here. What is this? Is that tomato? Pepper. One pepper plant. That's thriving. That's enough to feed you. You eat, fill up, and still have some food left over. Plant some more. This this garden's gonna be rich. Whenever it's take advantage of the, the rainstorms in this game. Care always have a pickaxe or a shovel to plant your garden so you can grow your food. This is this is more food. A pear, well it's rotten, but you pear tree. That's even more food. I'm thriving. Thrive, 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 people. I cannot stress that enough. Look at that. I'm gonna eat I can eat all this and then put it replenish it right back. Eat all this and replenish it right there because in about an hour, that's going to be done. So I say always, it probably don't take more than 45 minutes. But like I said, give yourself the rule of thumb. Give yourself about an hour. You know, get off. Whatever, you know, whatever. Do your laundry and run some errands. Come back to the game. Your garden will be rich and lush. Especially if you have a garden behind a building like this. More than likely, no one's going to bother you. Right, more like. Man, I'm not gonna say not at all, but this is a low populated server. All right, you should be good to go. If you're on a low populated server, especially you got the bad boy behind a building in the cut somewhere like I do. You should be good to go. All right, nobody's gonna bother it. If they do, it's plenty of food. I doubt they eat all the food. All right. I doubt it. But like I said, you should be good. 
Very seldomly have I gone on and the whole gardens have been ransacked and it's gone unless I have it in like a glitch spot like this where it's not supposed to be and uh, cause that, that did happen to me once and, and it glitches out, right? It, uh, it'll glitch out like a, up there at the, um, at Bebop, the back there, you're not really supposed to have anything there. You got to kind of work it and glitch it, but you plant a fruit near where the concrete is, where you're not supposed to have soil, like it'll glitch out and nothing will grow. When I obviously planted the potato, when I went back, it was gone. I highly doubt, and that quick, no one came through there and took it. Like I, I checked right back right when I knew it would have been finished and it was gone. So, uh, ain't nobody, you know what I mean? Oh my God. Ain't nobody take it that quick. It glitched out. So just be mindful of that. We get a fire going. I can't even, it's so dark. I can't even tell what time of day it is. I don't know if it's lunch. I get some lunch going. Late morning snack. Never can go wrong with fruits and vegetables. I know that's not much of a fire, but I don't need much. I just want to get the heat buff. Got my stuff planted. Basically, I just I'm just trying to get the heat buff. And then, uh oh. And then we'll uh, that's it. It'll probably burn out before. I'm hoping it burns out before anybody sees it. Heat buff. Let me ring out. You want to ring out your, your your wet clothes to uh, minimize illness as well, guys. So ring out your gloves. Ring out your jacket. Is that over? Uh, that's what your temperature. Your uh, insulation, so to speak. High insulation to drop down to medium or low. Because it's wet and then that cold air is hitting them. This game is ultra realistic. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let me ring out this field jacket. Ring it out by the fire. Take ourselves. Taking take a little break. A little pit stop. It stopped raining, but our garden is rich enough to to bear veggies. It's already been fed the water. And it's going to be that way. What? Oh, that's what I need to look at. I, I need to know. How long does it stay that way? I'm sure a Daisy S expert on YouTube has already and uploaded a video saying, oh, your garden's going to last this long when soaked by with, with rain. I mean, people have broken it down to a science. I mean, I, when I first started this game, I was all over the place. I was trying not to use YouTube. Big mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. I was all over the place. I was so hungry, man. I eating rotten chicken. Not rotten chicken, raw food. Character getting sick and I didn't know how to cure it. I came ac stumbled across another guy on the road and I'm like, man, help me. I'm, I'm, so, he said, yeah, I'm gonna give you some food here, here. Then I freaking dropped dead. He's trying to help me, but I was already, my, my, my health core was, uh, my health core was, was blinking red. My character was like walloping around, like dragging. I couldn't run. I couldn't park you. I couldn't do anything. Kept making like pain noises that she was in pain. It was just ridiculous. And I finally broke down and said, let me get on YouTube and see how to do this. See how to cook. See how to, you know, learn the absolute basics. What you want to do is learn the absolute basics first. Cooking. Uh, where to get your first gun, which is a police station. I explained that last video. You know, uh, what clothing is good keeping you warm a pea coat early game you know when you first spawn you find a pea coat you know those are good jeans you know a beanie pea coat beanie jeans uh, boots that'll, that'll keep you warm all right until you can get this field jacket i found this you can get this from military uh checkpoints and military bases all right until you get your you know, the baby draco this is from military base all right this is more so inland right or a military base that Hasn't been picked clean, mainly the ones that are inland. Okay, that's how, that's how you want to approach that right there. All right, the absolute basics. Where to get your first gun, which is going to be a police station. They're usually going to spawn that 12-gauge shotgun, which is a monster. 
Uh, shotguns have the last word. Never sleep on shotguns. All right, it's ma most majority of people's favorite weapon up close. You'll find out why. You get good at it. All right, shotgun and a scorpion and a lock. That's what you. The three key weapons you'll find at uh, a police station. Sometimes you may find that Pioneer or the SSG, the that the high powered sniper rifle. But most of the time, it's going to be a scorpion. All right, and it's going to be a shotgun. All right, and uh, you go from there. Learn how to cook. Making you just saw how I made a fireplace. All right, from sticks, and sometimes you go to bigger bushes. You can get firewood with a knife or, or an axe or whatever. And it's just the fire will last longer. All right, forage for your food and you know cook your and gr hunt and cook and grow your own food is the best. Do not depend on trying to find canned beans, green beans, canned peaches, and spaghetti the whole time. You will be starving. You won't be, you'll be surviving, but you won't be thriving. You want to thrive, not just survive. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the season, drop a like and subscribe to the channel series grow. Take care. And I will catch you guys next season, all right? Peace out.